Do you want a job that feels grown up, but also allows you to wear sweatpants to work? I know I do. Do you want to be Facebook friends with your boss and not have it be creepy? Have you ever wondered what it would be like to bathe in a pool of free LaCroix? Come work with this episode's sponsor, Less Annoying CRM. Go to lessannoyingjobs.com. Welcome Through Effingham is a sketch comedy podcast dedicated to the fake characters and made-up stories of the very real Effingham, Illinois. Welcome back to Welcome Through Effingham. Man, it was a close call last week, but they didn't find me. Let's hope they never do. Ah! Hi, welcome to Effing Temporary Solutions Temp Agency. Uh, my name is Tom Bigglesby. I'll just have a seat over here. Uh, w- what is your name, ma'am? Well, Mrs. Bigglesby. Actually, if we could just keep this, this whole conversation gender neutral on my part, that'd be great. Well, Mr. Bumblebee, my name is the Town Witch. Well, that, that is a very interesting name. You smell like pork. What, what, what can you bring to the table as Town Witch? Well, spells, hexes, magic... Cool shoes, pointy hats, cats, bats, rats. That's great stuff. Table mats. Have, I'm sitting here. We have an opening at Hot Topic. Does that interest you <laughs> at all? What else do you think I get all my cool witchy gear from? I have no idea. I am not familiar with witches at all. Oh, you're not, son. Well, we'll have to fix that. <laughs> oh, great. I, I, look forward, I look forward to getting to know Excuse you better. Excuse me. I'm not finished with my laugh. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> right, Go so on. Hot Topic is a possible solution for you. Uh, any, other, any other things you can bring to the table? Uh, we have openings at, at Starbucks, uh, Barnes & Noble. Mm, uh, yes. Any of that sound interesting to you? I have a lot of books. Spells, hexes, magic. Cats, rats, bats. You have table mats. Books on on cats and rats. And bats and table mats. Course, bats and table mats. Great, I'm very great. book savvy. What, what what reading level would you say that you read at, Mrs. Witch? Well, on a scholastic scale, I'd say I was a four. That's G- yellow. Fourth grade? Or yes. okay, all right, okay. We do have some masonry work available. You could you could lift those stones, put them in place. Uh, uh, maybe use some magic paste to keep them together. Are you mocking me? N- Are no, you ma'am. mocking my magic? I'm just magic? trying to find the best place for you, Mrs. Townwich. The best place, boy. You better watch your words. I've written all my words down. I have this whole thing transcribed, so I'm watching very carefully. After all, I am a witch. I see everything. Tell me about some of your your other interests. You know, what what makes you tick? What what do you like to do on a on a rainy Saturday afternoon? Do you like to cuddle up on the couch and maybe maybe watch Sabrina? I don't know. You tell me. Wow, you are mocking me. But yes, I do like Sabrina, the teenage witch. But no, I do not cuddle on the couch. Not even with a black cat. You caught me. Yes, fine. I like to cuddle with my black cat and Sabrina, the teenage witch. But careful, son. You are mocking me, aren't you? No, no, not at all. We actually have several focus groups available for Netflix. They're interested in rebooting Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Uh and I think that you might be perfect. (laughs) That would be amazing! Is that a sarcastic cackle or a genuine cackle? You decide. Okay. I'm having a very tough time deciding. Yes. Yes, and so am I. Um, are you interested at all in working with children? Yes, children. Tell me a bit about your experiences yes. with working with children. Oh, <laughs> I cook with them. I clean with them. I do everything. I, I, I don't know. Children have so many uses in spells, hexax, magics, bats, rats, cats, I and table I don't mats. know if that's going to work for this particular... Position. This is caring for children. Oh, I not... do care for children. Okay, sure, yeah, but this is... You don't want them to get too stringy. Mostly keeping them alive. Mm. Not boiling in any sort of cauldron or fire. Any any hot place, really. Just room temperature children caring mm. is yes. what we're looking for. Well, do you have anything that I can do that involves cooking children? 
you could cook four children. That would be a perfect, a perfect thing, I think. You want me to be a lunch lady? Uh, they're called uh, lunch, lunch technicians now, actually. We're trying to keep the term uh, gender neutral. Oh, please, with that gender neutral. If you keep talking, boy, you will be gender neutral. Um, did you just assume my gender? Yes. Oh, you don't want me to assume your gender, or anybody to assume your gender. Well, I can fix that, sir. That was one of the first spells I ever did. Assuming genders? You have a spell to assume a gender? Yes. Well, I would not like that. I would not like that at all. Mm, yes, well... We try and keep things just very, very neutral here. Neutral? Yes. <laughs> ah, the only thing neutral about me is my pH balance. That, that's impressive, honestly. There's, there's acid and bases everywhere in life. I mean, that's, that's a quality right there. I'll write that down. We just have good pH balances. Okay, great, 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 mm, great. Yes. Keeps us healthy. We eat a lot of yogurt. Greek yogurt? Regular yogurt, sir. Okay, great. So, do I get the job? Um, we have a lot of things to consider with this, um, what some might call an interview. Um, we have your information. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get in contact with you. Uh, in the meantime, uh, please refrain from casting any spells or, or hexes, any kind of magic on your way out. Uh! I'll tell you this, my good sir. That is not possible. See, I am a witch, and I am pure evil. I think you should consider me in a positive way, for if you don't, I will curse you. <laughs> again, I... I'm a witch. Again, I can't tell if that's a genuine witch. cackle or sarcastic cackle. Well, I'm leaving now, sir. Do you validate parking? We do not. I'm. I'm so sorry. Please, oh, no geez. hexes or, or curses again. Ah, uh, <laughs> my broom is still in the shop. What do you know when the bus arrives then? Oh, uh, every forty-five minutes. What kind of candy uh, is this? What kind of candy? Yes. Is uh, Buttersworth? Ooh, Buttersworth. It is quite savory. Mmm, Buttersworth savory. Yeah, just I guess just. Suck on that for the next 45 minutes. Can, can you please take your, your Buttersworth sucking outside, please? This is this is a busy workplace. Do you find this disturbing, young man? Uh, slightly, yes. I have other I have other people to place in positions today. Yes, yes, Buttersworth. Very, very qualified. Am I what? I, what wh- did you say? I, I, I didn't say anything. Just please, young man, stop disturbing me while I'm sucking on this candy. Yes, yes. I, 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 I am so sorry. I, 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 didn't, I didn't mean to disturb I've you at all. Had, I haven't had candy like this since the Great Witch War of 1896. I was going to assume Halloween, but okay, sure. No, I eat children on Halloween. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 oh my god. Do, do any potential applicants know the hammock maneuver? Please! <laughs> Uh, I, I do, I do. Okay, I need a list of references to verify that you know the uh, hammock maneuver. Uh, Quickly! Um, I, I worked at, uh, I worked for the mafia. Okay, 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 one more, one more. Um, Come I on. can tell jokes. Would you like to hear a joke? Uh, yeah, sure, yeah, let's hear that. Um, what, what did the witch say to the job applicator person? Uh, I don't know, what? ha, 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 ha. <laughs> oh, 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 I, I, I get it, because that's what she's doing right now. Truth, truth and comedy. Choking, <laughs> choking to death on a, on a butter's breath. Um, okay, bus is here. Gotta go. <laughs> I'll say this now. You and that silly little boy who just got on the bus are soon to be cursed. You never, you never mess with a witch. <laughs> Okay, so what time... I haven't finished laughing yet. (laughs) Um, 
while, while you're not cackling, uh, yeah, what, what, what time could I ex expect a, a curse or a hex? I can just schedule that right into my Outlook calendar. Uh, I would just like to plan around that if, if possible. Uh, yes, I know what kind of curse I'll give you. Is, is this an out-of-office uh, alert, or is this no, just, uh, just a busy boy, on the calendar? son, I know what I'll do to you, and I'll do it right now. If it'll save you time, if you're not too busy, I, I can I, hex I you right now. Look in your eyes. Witches brew and spells a hex. This boy here is bad at sex. Wait, what? Tune in next week. Let's hope there is a next week. This has been Todd Hammers for Welcome Through Effingham. Signing off. Oh, God. Welcome Through Effingham is written by Sketchpad Comedy. You can learn more about us by visiting our website at sketchpadcomedy.com. Featured on today's episode was Jason Flam, Alex Thompson, and Alexis Winford. Welcome Through Effingham is produced by Hug Monster Sound for STL Vernacular. For more great podcasts, visit stlvernacular.com. <laughs>